women choreographers that we know were all innovators. They, they took the art form and stretched it and pulled it and experimented and, and did all these interesting way of looking at it in a different way than um, what, has, what had been done before that. I love choreographing on students. I love giving them the opportunity to um, uh, explore different types of movement and ex different types of music. You have to give them an opportunity to find that talent and to develop it. It doesn't feel to me like you're escaping him. Annabelle Lopez Ochoa comes to mind because she, because we've worked with her, and she is cr in such a wonderful creative place because none of her pieces look alike. She draws from. She goes all over the world and draws from all those different um, experiences and uses them to move people. Melissa Gelfin, of course, we've done, has done several things for us, but I think we're always trying to encourage dancers to experience life and bring those experiences to whatever they're doing, choreography or teaching or whatever, how to bring those life experiences into that, because that's going to enrich what you're doing don't have you know a vehicle to do that then you've got all this talent that that will never come will never come you'll never see it choreography is a collaborative effort um, and that no matter who you are in the room you should be able to speak up and and show your value and give your opinion and and have that opinion be important my ballet teacher was like a second mother to me, and that's what I want to be to, to, my, to my students. I have students that I just got a wedding invitation to, and I've known them since they were three. And so to see that journey and you know, see where they are now and to be able to still be a part of their lives um, all the way up to them getting married is, is really quite special for me.